Hello, long riders. Welcome to this week's video. Sorry we haven't put out a video in a while. We've been very busy working 10 hour days, driving two hours to work, driving two hours home. That's 14 hours away from home. Don't have the time to make videos. We'll get back to it. Not this week, probably next week, we'll get a time video to you. Who knows? We might get one out this week. But that's the reason we have been working a lot, haven't had time to make videos. So we're going to bring you a fishing video that's been waiting to be made. We're going to soon release videos called The Lost Tapes, where you'll be able to see videos we lost. But anyway, this is late June on pens with me and Tracy. And if you're new here, make sure you click the bell notification so you'd never miss any of our videos and you get all notifications when we post a new video. And go do that. You can also click the description below. You'll see a spot where it says subscribe here. Click there. Go subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's get to the creek. Oh, I lost it. I had a hook. <laughs>
you like that fly fishing video and I want to point out that all the fish most of the fish that Tracy caught I um, she only caught one on a uh, black spinner um, the other one she caught which we're going to teach you that in class um, the other ones all she caught all her fish on olive lively legs we didn't get them all on camera she must have caught eight fish that day all on the olive lively legs and it's just a simple strike indicator from the strike indicator to her fly was about two feet deep and that's what she railed them all on I mean she loves that fly and it is a deadly fly I usually fish something opposite of her and I fished a Walter's sexy worm or Walter's sexy worm followed by an unweighted blue winged olive size 18 and I only caught, I only missed one fish on that, and all the other fish I caught was on the black spinner. So, like I said, we're going to teach you that in class. And uh, this was a really good day. We, the weather temperature was like, uh, I think 67 or 68, somewhere around there. So we walked up into a place where colder water was coming in, and them fish were real lively. They returned to the water real quick, and... Uh, it was great because uh, we uh, there was cold water. It was already cold enough to fish, but add that extra cold water, and it really made sure that we didn't hurt any of the fish. Uh, water temperature probably there was like 62, and that really helped us save a fish uh, and make sure they returned. Uh, likely our break-off point is usually 69, 70 degrees any warmer than that and you don't want to fight them long if you noticed a lot of fish weren't held up uh, the ones that were held up were in that really cold water um, Tracy didn't hold any of hers up she got down into warmer water later that was like 68 67 and she didn't take them out of the water she unhooked them and put them right back in which most of the fish we did I think I got shots of one or two that's why you didn't get to see the fish you got to see us we caught fish and what we caught them on, I'm telling you, lively legs and the black spinner was the flies of the day. We already taught you the lively legs. We'll have to teach you that black spinner. And uh, thank you for watching. Like I always say, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss any of our videos. We'll be returning back to a tying video every Wednesday real soon. And you don't want to miss them, so make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching our videos. Go out and be creative in your tying. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.